Gregor Gillespie, guys, I'll tell you, and I might be the only only words you hear this from. I'm gonna miss him. I really believed in Gregor. I, I, I truly, I followed him though for a long time. This is a wrestler. I'm not sure you guys are totally familiar with his wrestling career. If you even know that he wrestled, then you probably heard that he was an NCAA champion. But there's more to that story. He was a four-time All-American. He was the national champion as a sophomore. Along the way, he's running into guys like Jordan Lean comes to mind. Michael Chandler comes to mind. Jordan Burroughs comes to mind. This is a very difficult weight class to ever do well in. He did well all four years. Oh, as a matter of fact, he was the champion at a sophomore. That puts him at like 20 years old. Very, very difficult to do. So when Gregor comes over to MMA, which in many ways is a real natural fit for a guy that good, generally a guy that good does not just retire. Generally a guy that good will either have Olympic and world aspirations and stay in wrestling, or he'll go over into MMA. So Gregor goes to MMA, but beautiful record, great results, gets picked up by the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Now, when Gregor goes out and fights, if I was to look at his very early fights, which I happened to watch, I believe it was his first fight he ever had in the UFC, went the distance. I don't know that he ever had another fight ever go the distance. He's got like a 14-1 and record, but at lightweight. You know how hard, you know how impressive that is? Anybody with a 14-1 and record at lightweight, you're going to be talking about nonstop. I believe 14-1 and is the exact same record of Islam Makhlchev. If I'm wrong, Islam's 15-1, and but I, you get my point. Doing the same thing, stopping just as many people, coming in with a little bit more expectation because of a more beautiful amateur background. This is Gregor. But you see the difference. Gregor is not going to fight anymore. Islam is rumored and believed to be fighting for the championship next. It's very different. What went wrong? And I'm not positive you guys know who I'm talking about. Like, I'm going to find out in a hurry because I am going to plug this with a thumbnail that is going to say Gregor Gillespie in it. How many of people were interested in hearing about Gregor is going to be audited? Oh, and by the way, it's going to be publicly audited. And I have a feeling I'm going to be alone over here speaking to a camera by myself, but I just want to speak for myself because I will miss him. I really see a guy who's gotten a lot better. And that's very interesting. Like there's not very many things about Gregor's career when he had it that were in line with other people's. Just by example, his first fight ever in the UFC went the distance, and he looked good. He looked really tough, and he looked very promising. That's probably where it would end. He did not look like an overly skilled and experienced mixed martial artist, but he looked good, and you sure as hell could see the potential. Guys, he never went the distance again, which means he's getting better. He's getting better at a sport because of an apparent discipline to the training in the gym because it was not through activity. He was a very inactive guy. Gregor was released over the weekend, was the news that came out. Now, that's peculiar only because he was a top 10 ranked guy in the world. He had a beautiful record, and he was not coming off of a loss. So generally, if you don't have any of those ingredients, you don't get cut. What happened here? Well, Gregor cleared it up. He said, not so fast. Regardless of those reports, I have not been released. I have only been removed from the rankings. There is a level of inactivity which you can reach that will remove you or moreover preclude and invalidate you from the rankings. I don't know how true that is. I mean, I'm repeating what Gregor said, but I don't know how true that is. I've seen a number of guys that haven't fought for a period of time. Dominic Cruz just comes to mind, and maybe the rules have changed since then, but Dominic was out for three and a half years. Not only did he not lose his ranking, he didn't even lose his championship, and I think that we all understood that. Look, the poor guy's got an ACL, and he gets better than his other ACL. But I'm only offering you an example of guys who have been inactive over time. Are all inactivities not treated the same? If you have a good excuse or a note from a doctor, you stay with, I don't know about that. I don't know that there is any kind of a rule that would preclude you from the rankings for inactivity. I don't know about that. But that is what Gregor said. Now, Gregor, when he said this and wanted to clear this up, I'm still with the organization. I just happen to be looking for the right fight. And I turned some fights down and I do admit that I did that, but they just weren't the fight that I was looking for. That's why I'm coming to let you know that it's over, sadly, right? If you couldn't get the fight that you were looking for when you were ranked, of course you can't get the fight that you're looking for when you're not ranked. This is just basic logic. And I had a number of conversations about Gregor quietly. 
I would tell people, people say, can anybody be Khabib? Can anybody deal with Khabib? Is anybody ever going to stop him? And I would always insert Gregor. And I wasn't picking or predicting Gregor, but I would say, well, you know what? There's actually a guy that you don't know about. There's a guy in the organization that on paper, with the wrestling, with the scrambles, and with the conditioning, right? You got a fantastic conditioning to even be in the conversation of Khabib. Everybody that you saw that Khabib overwhelmed, Khabib had a much superior conditioning to them. And Gregor just happened to have that. Gregor just happened to have something right off the bat that, that could match him that for me was interesting. Now, those guys were light years from each other in that conversation, never happened. But I thought that we were moving in that direction. And Gregor, when he talked about, I haven't been able to get the right fight, he talked about, I tried to get Tony Ferguson. Or he talked about, I tried to get Michael Chandler. Now, again, being aware of yourself and aware of what you can get is always difficult for anybody. Like, th those fights were not close to happening. But I did think that there was an interesting argument that Gregor could have made. I mean, in all fairness, when I do come back to he has the exact same record as Islam with equal amounts of finishes in the same division at the same time, why do we have two vastly different impressions? And when Gregor came out and he said, I'm, I'm looking for a fight, he threw Michael Chandler's name out there, which, by the way, would be an awesome fight. Now, I'm not proclaiming that you guys want to see it. I'm not proclaiming that that's going to sell. I'm just sharing for the people that do uh, the hardcores, me, for the hardcores that know both of these guys, that's very interesting. But that was all that Gregor said. Gregor had a great opportunity in that moment where he associated his, his own name with Chandler's to then tell the story of he and Chandler. Gregor Gillespie and Michael Chandler have gone at it in unarmed combat. Did you guys know that? No, you didn't. Does that interest you? Yeah, that interests you. You don't know who won, do you? But you'd like to. You're hoping that I tell you who won. Not only do I know who won, I'll give you one spoiler alert. The competition was not close. It was a beaten. I have your interest, don't I? And this is what Gregor had. Oh, and by the way, the winner of that contest, which wasn't overly close and was a beaten, was Gregor. Now, that would really add to the fuel of the fire of him getting in there with Chandler. It's not enough. It's not going to push him over the top. And now that he isn't ranked, it's not even going to be a conversation. I do think that he had the ability to create a conversation. And as I just look at his career, something went off here. Something. Like, look, let me give you an example. There's people that you're going to listen to. At the top of that food chain is going to be your manager and trainer absolute top of that food chain. Now, your relationship with your manager and trainer is a business relationship. They are getting a piece of what you do. There's a reason they are incentivized to train and prepare you properly. There's a reason they are incentivized to organize and strategize your career appropriately. If you have a business relationship with somebody and you're not doing any business, you now don't have a relationship. But that wasn't the case. They kept him. They liked him. Nobody flinched. Nobody wanted him to go somewhere else. Nobody was tired of representing him as inactive as he was. The opportunities that there were that were passed up, nobody got upset. And I can tell you just from watching Gregor, he must have been fairly disciplined in the gym because he was getting better between fights. Now, at 35 years old, it's just simply not going to happen. And I thought that this was very obvious. When, when Gregor gave his side of the statement, which is, contrary to the reports, I am not released. I am only removed from the rank. When he gave his side, he was very clear to shine the wheels of the UFC, the greatest organization, the most organized, the most fair people. I mean, the, the, the pay is great. The treatment's great. It was one of these things where he really went out of his way. Now that was appropriate and that was nice, but you also understand he's delivering a message. And at 35 years old, unranked and with a reputation of turning things down and being active, there's nowhere else to go. You could give him his walking papers today. He's not going to get picked up. Like, his phone isn't going to ring. And the, the other voice says, hey, this is Scott Coker. This, that isn't going to happen. Phone doesn't ring. This is chachery. Like, it, that doesn't happen because you're 35 years old. So if you're within the Ultimate Fighting Championship, you still have to look back historically. Now, that's a beautiful record. That's a very abnormal record, what Gregor has. It is an abnormal amount of finishes. This is a very talented guy. There has never been anybody in the history of the organization to become the champion after 35. Now, before you think you have to correct me, or accurate to my statement, somebody might have been champion before and they reclaimed a championship. For example, TJ Dillashaw is on that mission right now. For example, Randy Couture did that. But Randy Couture won a world championship at 34 years old. 
that was his first. It was very different because now he is a main event. You just got to get the opportunity. I don't submit for you that Gregor couldn't win a world championship or that he's not skilled enough, but I, I'd have to insert that to five other guys as well. We don't actually know who the best guy in this sport is. There's no architecture. There's no bracket. We don't actually know. So the first thing that you have to do is get the opportunity. The opportunity has never been given to anybody 35 years plus that had not previously been the world champion. So it's, it's one of these really tough spots. Well, I'll, I'll take him at his word. He's still with the organization. I'll take him at his word that he's no longer ranked. I actually brought up the rankings today, and he was ranked number eight. I, don't, I can't reconcile that. But at the same time, if, if there's specific, specific fights that you want and you will not compete unless you can get those fights, if you couldn't get those and you're unwilling to do it when you were ranked, it simply isn't going to happen when you're not ranked. So it's a really, it's an interesting spot. I don't know what to make of. I know that's a very skilled young man. And I know he still has those skills. I do not believe he can get that push. That's a game for him to play. That's a game for him to try to do. But to have success at those games, you must have something called goodwill. To lose your spot in the rankings without fighting, let alone losing, means that you've lost your goodwill. 